Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Draconis, and this is Kaon Reviews. Now, as you saw in the intro, today's review video is going to focus on Transformers 1, Bumblebee, B127. And I have to say, I, uh, I originally saw this figure, not at Walmart, but through one of the other reviewers, uh, basically, who had showcased this figure. And I was very impressed. And... Uh, I mean, I was like, wow. Though, again, you will hear, I do, you will hear my own opinions concerning this figure. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, he's got his vehicle mode right here. Big old open window, which Hasbro has yet to put the new windows back in. Then you have a close up of B in his vehicle mode. Uh, I'm just reading on the bottom now. Uh, they have, they call these the Prime Changers. Then you have the, the great artwork that's on there. The cast. Then you have his digital renderings. And it shows, you know, from robot to vehicle. And it shows uh, he's got his uh, spark chamber where you can remove his chest to show that off. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and take one final look here. Alrighty. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get him unpackaged. And there he is out of his box and... Wow. I am... I have to say, I'm very impressed. As you can see, the bot in, his, in all his glory. Let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories here. So here we have is the front cover, or his chest cover. And that is supposed to go right here, in this chest area. As you can see, just from looking at it, he's got that, his little... I want to say it's either the transformation cog or his spark or both. And that you just tap in there. And there we go, right there. That is really, really good. Then you have his, his sword or his, uh, his wrist uh, blade. Now, Apparently, you can put those right here, and right there, that is where it's supposed to go. And it's like, let's go ahead and have him look like he's just now seeing that. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up just a bit. And he's like looking at the blade, like, whoa. Got blades? Wow. So there he is right there. Now of course we got his arm cannon here. Very, very nice. And for that I think we just well just, we just put that over his wrist right there and then of course we'll have all uh, like looking at whoa like dude i got a cannon There. 
Very, very nice. I really like that. So he's got some, yeah. They really gave a nice good color treatment on his weapons, which I found was very lacking in the studio series Bumblebee for Rise of the Beasts. I'm going to take those off. Now let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. His head is like on a mushroom peg. So he does have a little bit of up and down movement as you can see. You can look right, can look left, can look 360. So yeah, not too bad. His arm is on a ball joint. So he can rotate 360. He does have a little, yeah, around 90 degree bend. Uh, he does have rotation at the elbow. And he can bend forward. Again, that that can be due to transformation right here. So, not too bad. There is, because this is all one piece, there is no wrist rotation. Now, he does have a waist rotation. Can kick up, can kick back, can uh, his leg can bend around 90 degrees, and I want to say he's got a type of knee uh, knee bend off to the side, and he can kick up again. This is also due to transformation, so not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure overall. And wow, that is really, really nice. Now, as you notice, I have not taken off his chest piece. But wow. The only thing I do have an issue with is kind of like the waffling here on the back of his leg. Um, also on the side, they could have done something in Again, this portion is due to transformation, so even if there was an upgrade set, you may have to take that off unless they uh, put it together to where, you know, to where uh, they show off, or at least they're, you're able to keep this functionality right here. But other than that, that is about it. So this is, yeah, here we have Badass Trump. And uh, not a bad looking figure so far. But let's go ahead and take a look at how he does the transformation. All right, here we have B ready for transformation. Now, as you see, I've already got his weapons off already. Let's go ahead and straighten him out just a bit. All right. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop the back here. We're going to turn the head around. And there is a tab or a post right here that's going to fit behind B's head. So we're just going to go ahead and tap that in there. And then we're just going to snap that puppy back into place. All right. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and take this portion. We're going to open it up from the bottom, lifting that up. And then we're just going to go ahead and make sure that that goes in. And there you go. That should be nice and smooth. This portion here is going to go down. And then you just snap. Now, we're going to go ahead and shimmy these two areas here. So we're going to go ahead, pull back, and then just do that. And do the same on this side. And there you go. Now, there is a couple of posts right here on this side, and one on the other. There is a port right here. So, we're just going to oh, before we do, we need to turn the hands 
like so. So that way this front portion is facing out. Once that's done, then just go ahead. Oh, almost forgot. One other thing. We're going to go ahead and turn the legs around like so. Once all that is done, then we just start putting the legs there. I mean, the arms in. And I'll go ahead and try and get that in there because sometimes it does not want to go there. There. That should do it. All right. Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and make sure these hands are tabbed together. There, are, there is a slot right here, a post right here where the back of the hands are. Just snap that in. Then at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and fold the feet in. And then there is a rocker hinge here which allows the legs to go in. Do the same on the other side. And then just make sure all this is tabbed in. Now there is a tab and a small post within the leg here. You have to go ahead and try and get all that in. And yeah, there we go. We gotta push these thighs inside the cavity so that way it allows everything to go in. Like so. Yeah, it's a bit tricky to try and do all this. There we go. I think we finally got it in. Alright, now this last piece here. And then we just uh, tab everything in. Trying to there. Then we just tab the feet in. There. And do we have it? Yes, I do believe we do. Alright. There he is in all his glory. Go ahead and just Wow, and it rolls really nicely. I think the, the hardest part is making sure these hands go underneath. And because the um, because this whole area is hollow, you have to shift the the uh, the inner thighs inside this area, and you gotta get all this to fold in behind it. So, yeah, but other than that, wow. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by what I have seen. Now, of course, there is storage. Hooray for storage. <laughs> um, let's see here. Now, do believe yes so you're able to go ahead and put this together 
like so. And then you just tap this in. And there you go. You got his weapon storage. Not too bad. I like it. And this is very reminiscent of B-127's mode from the Bumblebee movie. Not exactly, but very similar. So, yeah, not too bad. So, let me take a few shots for the in cap. And I will be right back with my final thoughts as well as my score. Alright, thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. I had to take a couple of shots of him, you know, pointing with his, uh, <laughs> with his uh, Energon blade. That was already like that, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like that. <laughs> oh my god. But other than that, I, wow. I have to say I'm very, very impressed uh, for mainline figure. Wow. This is really awesome. Um, it rolls nicely in vehicle mode. Transformation, there was a couple of issues. Um, I had to review um, another video. I believe it was from Prime vs. Prime that showed off the uh, transformation process. Once I got that one portion down, which was the arms in vehicle mode, the rest was easy. But, uh, you know... There, there's still a little bit of areas that you really have to push in in order to get that to snap. But other than that, oh wow, yeah, definitely. If you got a chance to get this figure, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, but if I have to give it a score on a scale of 1 through 10, I'm going to give this one a 9. This is a nice looking figure. Vehicle mode is... Very similar to the to the vehicle mode that B-127 had in the Bumblebee movie. Uh, they just gave them a little bit more of a sleeker down version. But I like it. I mean, the, the whole figure itself is, is awesome. I really like it. And I cannot wait to review the last of the three that I picked up, which is Optimus Prime slash Orion Packs. So keep an eye out for that one. But uh, that's my score, and that's my take on the figure. I want to hear from you. Now, as I stated earlier, I picked this one as well as the other two up at Walmart. They are out in the wild, so have you picked them up? And if so, do you like them? Do you hate them? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Click on to the bell icon so you can be notified when I post up new videos. This is Phoenix Triconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.